What's up, y'all? This is Michael K. Malloy. With Stay tuned to find out how you should name your SharePoint files. SharePoint in 60 seconds. All right. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. You got to figure out how to name these files so that they make sense to people and so that you can get back to them quickly, right? I mean, those are the main criteria. Uh, findability. So let's explore a couple of things here. So first let's take a look at the content sometimes you get the bear and sometimes the bear gets you just be faster than the bear and you'll be great great words to live by so what I want to do is figure out what title can I make that actually will represent the body of this so this is a saying it's a saying about bears how about sometimes sometimes you get the bear or sometimes bear whatever something like that I mean you'll be able to figure it out you should hope um, so this is just an example do it works for you now if we're in word online we can just pop up here click in that space and then we can start naming so we'll say sometimes ooh, oh what to do oh my goodness sometimes bear well that looks great but it might be a little bit hard to search because of the camel case here so hmm, how about we go with an underscore sometimes bear well that's great but realize this is going to show up in the URL so in the URL you're not going to see that underscore it'll work but I'm gonna suggest and you try it out that works in your environment I'm gonna suggest a hyphen now let me backtrack a little bit I am using some techniques that I discovered on the web and I will link those resources below so I definitely want to give credit where credit is due but my research shows a hyphen n dash m dash I don't know some sort of dash but apparently there is like a difference between the n dash and the m dash uh, yeah it's the dash oh snap boom dash again the tests that I've run show that uh, this would be uh, a more reliable or this would get you a more reliable result in search than the camel case here so let me know what you think and then there we go that's saved so this has been SharePoint in 60 seconds saying try out the n dash m dash the dash versus camel case versus underscore let me know what you think let me know if it works out for you do a couple of test searches and see what happens if it works give us a thumbs up if it doesn't give us a thumbs up and then we'll be looking for you on the next episode have a great day